I program these knobs for the first eight channels and these sliders for the next eight. Uh, wait, I'm lying for the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey all! If you own a Behringer XR Mix and a Korg Nano Control and you have trouble hook things up, you're in the right place. I spent almost two weeks googling how to connect it, how to set it up and finally found what ticks all these boxes. So let me show it to you. So you connect your mixer to the PC, right? And then you connect the nano control to your PC. And now it's flashing white. And then you uh, connect your mix. to your laptop and then when you try something nothing is happening uh, so why? well apparently you need some kind of MIDI message converter so I found this I will leave the link in the description. So this is Pocket MIDI, a MIDI tool for instrument developers, but also it reads MIDI messages and sends them to your mixer. So what I did here is um, I programmed these knobs for the first eight channels and these sliders for the next eight. Uh, Wait, I'm lying for the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this, the only one left is my master. You can program this nano control with the Korg control editor. Um, you can download it all, also and use it as you like or um, if you want it just comment it and I will upload my setup that's visible here and uh, well that's it uh, so if you find this video some kind of helpful, please consider subscribing. Um, you can also comment, share or like. I'm pretty sure I'll make some more of these tutorials about those mixers and those functions that were nowhere to find or were so um, expensive or at least not so expensive they, uh, I found a app that was about 40 bucks but um, I don't need all these uh, functions, I just mainly need um, 
the vocals may be up a little, maybe down, or just a bit of main up, or maybe the drums are too loud or too low, and for this I just don't want to pay any money. So here it is. If you need something, just just ask. Thanks. Bye.